Alia and welcome back to Cooking with Alia International Edition. Today we have a special for July 4th with my friend James. Hi all. James is from America. No, that's Korea. Yes, uh, <laughs> Wisconsin to be precise. I'm a Moroccan, but this is my first year celebrating July 4th as an American. I've always been an American. Yeah. I got so, two. <laughs> and we're going to be doing it from Korea. Yeah, so check this out. We have white, blue, and red. On the Korean flag. And in the American flag. And red only in the Moroccan flag. Green too. Green too, but I'm compensating with the red and the white. And you're going to make something special for us. Right, so we're going to take the red of this meat. Yay. The white of these onions. But once caramelized, they're not white anymore. The blue of the cheese. Blue cheese. Which also has white in it. And make a red, white, and blue hamburger slider. Now the thing is, is we're also going to use a Moroccan ingredient of walnuts because we've got our Moroccan right here. Yeah, and in Morocco we eat lots of nuts and we thought it, was, it would be a great idea to combine both flavors. And it's easy, right? Very easy. Awesome. So let's start. Great. <laughs> we're going to caramelize the onions. We're going to cook on low heat. We're going to drizzle some olive oil into the pan. Put in some onions. and start cooking them. And we put a little bit of salt. So we're gonna leave it here, cook on low heat until it becomes a golden brown. We cooked on low heat about 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah, and you see now they're like beautifully golden brown and soft. Yummy! Okay, we're gonna start by adding some pepper, a pinch of pepper. And salt. All right. A little more salt. Right. The, the cheese is a little salty, so you have to be careful with the cheese you use, right? right. Okay. We're going to take our caramelized onions, pour them in. Okay. And secret ingredient. We're going to mix it in thoroughly. Walnuts. All right. So we're going to get on our mixing gloves here and mix this in thoroughly. So the next step is making the patties. Okay, so patties gonna, is just like little circles of meat. But we're gonna make smaller ones because we're making sliders. Yeah, check this out. We have like mini hamburger, yum. Okay. All right, so this is how we do it. We're gonna take some meat. We're gonna pat it down, pinch it in. The Voila. A patty. Okay, anybody can do that. So, right. so far it's been easy. Yeah, it's what she tells me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> onions and then what do we do? Salt and pepper and secret ingredients and patties. Now we're gonna add the blue cheese to the hamburger patties to make our blue cheese patties. So the thing is, you don't need to just use blue cheese. They can use any cheese they want, right? Yes, exactly. We have uh, blue cheese because we want the blue and because we like the flavor. All right, so take a little bit of blue cheese. Okay. Add it to the patty. Ooh, nice. Put it in the center. All right, take another patty, put it on top. And then you just have to seal it. All right, seal it nice and good. And then we put like the size nicely like that. So nobody knows the secret inside. Excellent. And that's it. We got our super patty. Good job. So while James is making patties, you're working? Yep, I'm working. Faster, faster. Yes. Bali bali as they say here. Bali bali in Korean. Yeah. I'm going to toast some bread here. I have delicious little buns here because we want to make sliders. If you want bigger bread, then bigger hamburger, bigger bread and toast it for 10 minutes in the oven to have those crispy buns. More patties. Repeat until you're out of patties. Sprinkle on some salt and pepper. Yay. And we're ready to cook these guys up. How are we going to cook them, James? Grill them on a barbecue. But we're inside, so we're just going to use a grilling pan. All right, let's get that out. 
Brush in a little oil and heat the pan on medium to high heat. Okay. All right, our pan is heated. Let's cook these patties. Get them on there. Hot dog, actually hamburger. Hamburger. Press them down to get little grill marks there. You hear this sizzle, James? Awesome. I'm so hungry all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So we're going to grill them for a few minutes each yep. side. Yep. Depending on how you like them, right? Some people like them rare. Yep. Uh, how do you like them? I like them more medium. Yeah. So we're going to grill them a little bit longer than the rare cow. Uh, but we're going to have to test one or two to see how the cheese is melting in. You know, first yeah. time you do something, you're going to... Put it in the middle grill. and see how yeah. it is. Yeah. Some people like it rare, some people like it more cooked. So yeah. whatever you like. Okay, let's start flipping this. Oh! That looks nice. Look at these burgers, they're just perfect. So delicious. And now we're gonna plate our hamburgers. So here we have a bottom bun and a top bun. All right, the hamburger goes on the bottom bun. Yum, look at this beauty. Okay, and the top bun, what do you put in there? We put in our ketchup. Who does not like ketchup? If you don't like ketchup, use mustard. All right, some blue cheese if you like. Oh, yum. Again, if you don't like blue cheese, you can use any type of creamy cheese. It can even be different from the one you have in the center of your burger. Yum. Slice of tomato. Wow. Slice of lettuce. And here you have the perfect hamburger. We put them together. Look at this mini hamburger. It's Very so cute, cute and delicious. So cute. Let's cut it in the middle so we can see the cheese in the middle. Check this out. You can see there's a little bit of cheese inside. You can see this one better. See the piece of cheese inside? When you bite it, you can feel it. Okay, we taste? Excellent. Okay, let's chin chin with the hamburger. Alright. Chin chin. Oh my god. It's good. Good. Mm. really good. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Wow, the blue cheese is so good. The texture of the walnuts is awesome. I know. So you feel the blue cheese, the creaminess of blue cheese. And the texture of the walnut. And then you have the tomatoes and the mm. sweetness of the onions. Mm. And the freshness of the lettuce. Oh my god. Mm. And then the toasted bread. Happy 4th of July. Mm -hmm. Happy 4th of July. We should do 4th of July every day. Mm. Wow, this is so good. James, you have to come back for other awesome recipes. Please. So, bon appétit. Mmm. Mm.